They served with courage in the U.S. Armed Forces during World War II, and today their names are being remembered at this wreath-laying ceremony. On the campus of Bronx Community College at the Dominican Monument Memorial, Council General of the Dominican Republic in New York, Eligio Jaquez, President of Bronx Community College, Dr. Thomas Essekinegbi, joined Council Member Fernando Cabrera to pay tribute to over 350 servicemen and women. Contributions of Dominicans to the United States Armed Forces have been largely ignored, and this is the first and only of its kind after more than 70 years. I don't know if you realize that 67% of our student population are from the Dominican origin or Dominican background. So it's an honor for us really in 2018, working in collaboration with Councilman Kibera to be able to put this monument here, right here on our campus here. In collaboration with the City University of New York's Dominican Studies Institute, research began in 2014 when 200000 was allocated by the City Council, allowing for the names to be listed here in preparation for its unveiling in 2018. An exhibit also took place at CUNY chronicling their stories, which among them was the story of Angel Jesus Cabrera, Councilmember Cabrera's grandfather. This is special to me as well because my grandfather and his brother, uh, two Dominicans who love Dominican Republic, they love the United States, they both serve in the Army and also in the Navy, respectively. In a community with the highest concentration of Dominicans outside the nation, Cabrera further calls the monument an opportunity to celebrate Dominican heritage. There was absolutely no research that had been done and this is why I'm so glad that this part of history will never, ever be forgotten. 351 names in all, many of whom lived right here in the Bronx, now forever remembered here on the campus of Bronx Community College. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.